Hey y'all, I want to come back with a um, collective Dollar Tree haul. This is from probably two, possibly three weeks because um, I have a Dollar Tree close to me like five minutes away, but it's pretty crappy. They, it's close to um, a beach annex and so mainly they just kind of, you know, deal with that community drinks and snacks and cheap stuff, you know, beachy type stuff. Um, every now and then they get the stuff that you guys find at the traditional Dollar Trees. But anyway, so I went into town and went to the big Dollar Tree a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. And here's what I got. So my friend and I do a little um, Christmas exchange and we try not to spend more than like 20 bucks. And she has um, a wiener dog. So I picked her up this cute little wiener dog pin. I found... Um, this blank note card set and she is so much better than I am at doing this when people give her gifts or she um she does a lot of little drop-off cards in people's mailboxes and for the ladies at work you know just something to brighten their day and yeah um okay if you don't partake of the grape that's okay don't judge but sometimes mama needs a to-go cup. Is this not cute or what? It's like a little screw on wine glass to take it to go. So this is so cute. I'm building her a um, Christmas box. So that's why I got those things. Um, I found these cards as well. I do want to try and send out more cards. I just don't, I really don't. I don't think I, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't communicate well with people. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I like this one because it looks um, artsy fartsy and it looked, looked like watercolor. This one I thought was really pretty. Um, it has a very pretty watercolor effect and I like the paisley and the pinks and the purples. And eight cards for a dollar with the envelope, that's not bad at all. And, um, you know, I've said this before, you can take a blank card or a pre-made card, I mean, and you can add one of your cute little stamped images that everyone's collecting and doing. And, you know, ready-made card. Not too hard at all. Got some minion stickers because I am the number one minion at my job. I swear. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like I'm always getting in trouble for something. <laughs> but, you know, what the hell. Screw them. Um, and then there's... Finding Dory. Um, if you go on Instagram, there's a, uh, a hashtag called Dollar Tree Community, and they show all kinds of cool stuff people are finding at Dollar Trees in the U.S. and in Canada. And apparently some Dollar Trees got these huge in-cap promos of Finding Dory stuff, little lunch containers, stickers, blah, 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 blah. This is all I could find, and these were just with the regular stickers on the side kit. So maybe it'll come to mind. I don't know. I did pick up a few of the clips. Um, I'm not a planner girl. Um, I will talk about that in another video. Um, I like to watch planner girl and planner people videos and planner addict videos. And I love to look at the stuff that people buy for them. But what do I have to plan? I go to work. I drop kids off at various events. And... You know, my big thrill is hitting a dollar tree. Here we go. Oh, so let me stop. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I found these graphite pencils, which are really good um, if you like to draw and doodle. Because if you use the white erasers, uh, graphite pencils don't leave the smeary, smudgy um, lines that your regular um, number two pencils do. And these are by Bic. And this one's like a purpley pink color. I just thought that was so cool. And then this was a multicolor pack with the actual erasers on them. So I picked up those. I got um, another coloring book. And another one. And um, if you guys are finding that the paper is too thin for you and you want to use markers, if you have one of those printers with a scanner, which most people's printers now, I love this line. Um, you know, just scan you a few pages and that way you can color in it, you can color with them, your children can color with them, you can, um, you know, maybe share them with friends, cut them up and make a pocket letter page because you know how you cut it into the various little squares or whatever. So, you know, you can make this, these Dollar Tree um, coloring books work for you. 
you really can. I only found two of these and I actually had been looking for some cheap little plastic folders to hold um, cutouts and stickers. And um, I've been working on my Prima Dolls a little bit here and there. And that's not too bad. These are Jot brand and there's two each. And it looks like they've got the reinforcers to put in your um, notebook. So this will work. Hopefully I'll get more in. Um, like I said, I'm not a planner girl, but I am an avid notebook and memo book collector. And this was just too cute. And it's pink. And it has a faux leather finish to it. A really nice finish for a Dollar Tree product. You know, do I sound like a snob? That's so stupid. You're going to the Dollar Tree. How can you be snobby? You know, you're going to the Dollar Tree. Calm down. <laughs> but, um. The paper quality is not that bad at all, and um, they're pink. They had pink, black, and blue. It was like a kind of like royal blue, really pretty, but I grabbed two pink, um, one for me and one for the mini, because the minute she sees it, she's going to be like, well, I need to draw, and I need to draw too. So, there you go. Got that. I got some uh, of the little mini compos I want to decorate some and alter them and see what happens like uh roxy fur rocks is that how you say it? roxy fur does this real quick it's a dimensional wood shape i got these at walmart and um it was a new product it's over with you know the arts and crafts stuff and i want to say they were 75 cents or 74 cents i just thought those were so cute i picked up two of them um just a little sidebar there. I got that from Walmart. I picked up a couple more of these Sure Fresh containers, and they are a good size. Probably looks to be about. Let's see. I want to say it's about eight by eight. It almost looks like my eight by eight um, pan, possibly nine by nine. But what I do with them is um, I store my washing in them. And since you can see, them, then you can. You know, and they stack really well. So these are good. You could stack these at the top of your closet or on top of your bookshelf or whatever. Um, but that's why I buy them for washing. All right, so that was my Dollar Tree haul. I'll be back later with a makeup Dollar Tree haul so that, you know, you guys that aren't into that can watch it. All right, thanks. Have a great morning. Bye-bye.